Well, we're carrying out a poultry breeding program to breed uh, strains of layers which will lay more eggs and eat less feed. Are broken eggs a problem? We get uh, between 5 and 15 per cent of the total number of eggs laid would be cracked, particularly in laying cages because the hen actually stands up to lay the egg, so it drops uh, several inches onto the wire floor of the cage before it rolls out. We at the Poultry Research Station of Seven Hills have investigated the gauge of the wire floor, which we found has an important bearing on this, but the bird must be fed a specific level of uh, minerals, particularly calcium, and vitamins, particularly vitamin D, which is fed in synthetic form because the bird isn't running out in the sunlight as they did in the good old days. Australian hens eat more and lay less than British and American hens. The Seven Hills team hopes it will be able to do something to redress the balance. Each hen's cage is numbered and a record is kept of the bird's laying performance. Cracked eggs and eggs with soft shells are noted. Throughout the experiment, four layers have been weeded out. The station is working now on producing stronger egg shells. Later it might experiment with producing brown eggs. Nutritionally, there's no difference between brown and white eggs. It's only a question of pigment. But Mr McIndoe says people seem to prefer brown. Only black and red feathered hens lay brown eggs, and the research man's problem is that most eggs in Australia come from white feathered birds. Well, this is our egg quality control room, and we're looking for reasons why eggs deteriorate and uh, ways and means of improving the quality of eggs. We are anxious to measure the strength of the shell. We do this by weighing the egg first in air and then in water. Then by Archimedes' principle, we get the specific gravity of the egg, which we found is a very good measure of the strength of the shell. Here they are uh, bringing the eggs across and breaking them open onto this table and measuring the height of the albumen, or the thick white. Now this is a measure of the freshness of the egg to some extent. As the egg gets older, the white of the egg breaks down and becomes more watery, and the yolk settles down and becomes more flat. And by breaking the egg open here and using the micrometer, we can measure the height of the white of the egg, and uh, this gives us an index of how fresh or stale the egg may be. <laughs> Well, what value is this research? Will it give the housewife a better egg? Well, we certainly hope so, although egg quality is a difficult problem because what's happening is that the modern hen is laying more and more eggs on less and less feed. She's being housed and fed under fairly artificial conditions. And under these conditions, it has been difficult to maintain the quality of eggs. 